This video is brought to you by the new free live training, The Fastest Way to Claims Work. Snag your seat right now at adjustertv.com slash masterclass. In this video, learn why IA firms aren't putting you to work and what to do to really get their attention. Starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. And by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Hey, Matt here, and welcome to Adjuster TV, where I share my more than 20 years of experience as a cap property IA to help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. So storm season is here, and by all accounts, it's been a busy one. If you're just getting started in this industry and you wanna know why I firms aren't blowing up your phone with work, it might be because you're missing one or more of the following. You are unlicensed. You don't have, at the absolute minimum, your home state or designated home state license. Or if you have one of these, that's all you have. Think of licenses like keys. Your home state or DHS license is the key to getting in the game, and every new license that you get opens up a new state that you can work in, even if you're working remote. Those are opportunities, and firms are looking for adjusters that they can keep busy in multiple places. How do you get your licenses? Get started right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. You have zero training. The independent claims industry is, and pretty much always has been, the Wild West. For some reason, people new to our industry think that they can just show up without any training at all and start making $5,000 a week. Think about it this way. If you hired a contractor to remodel your kitchen, it sure would be awkward if you had to show them how to use a hammer. If you don't wanna be a burden to your managers when the big storm hits, if you wanna actually make good money on your first storm deployment, then you can't assume that there's gonna be on-site training. I firms and carriers will feel a lot more comfortable giving you claims assignments if they know that you already have some skin in the game by investing in your own training. For the best training force, go to adjustertv.com slash certify. But if you choose to get training elsewhere, do your research and make sure that the school you choose is the best that you can afford. You are unproven. Saying that you've taken this or that training looks okay on a resume, right? Certificates of completion on a resume are great up to a point, but what really shines is having an industry trusted person or company to vouch for you. Somebody who can say that you've not only taken and completed their training, but who has also tested that you actually understood what you were taught and are able to back it up with competency, okay? You will stand out if you seek out trainings that test you so that you can prove that you know what you're doing. You are unmotivated. Okay, these next two might sting a little bit, but this is a very hard business to get into. And if you don't have your mind right about what's not only expected of you, but what will set you apart from your competition, I'm telling you, your new career won't be worth the work, okay? So what do I mean by unmotivated? Well, you can get licenses and certifications, which are great, but how can an IA firm pick you out of a crowd if they don't even know who you are? Spend the time and money to network as much as possible with these companies, sit down in front of them at their conferences, and most of all, attend the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters Convention every January. It's not just for catastrophe adjusters, by the way. Become a member and register for this critical industry networking event. If you could only go to one conference, this is the one, N-A-C-A-T-A-D-J.org. You are unhelpful. Listen, this work doesn't just come to you. You have to go and get it. How do you do that? Once you're trained and licensed, make yourself available for any and all deployments, assignments, no matter what. Even if they ask you to drive three hours one way to handle a low paying claim that will probably cost you money to handle, do it with a smile. Doing this really helps your firm out and it helps to strengthen your relationship with that company. They won't forget how you helped them and they will look for ways to help you, okay? And this isn't all about you. If you strive to serve this industry selflessly, you will go far. 
And listen, if you wanna learn the fastest way to getting work as an independent adjuster, grab a seat in my free live masterclass at adjustertv.com slash masterclass. Did I mention that it was live and free? And don't worry, if you can't make that live session, register anyway so that you can get access to the replay. If this video is helpful to you, I would be very grateful if you could give us a like and a subscribe. And don't forget to check out the next video in the series, Top 5 Reasons You're Not Making Money as an IA. Okay, that's it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV, live in the dream.